Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Christine Laney, and at NEON, I support data product management and development of NEON's web portals and services. Today, I will introduce some of the data streams that are being used in FE NEON's exciting forecasting challenge. NEON, or the National Ecological Observatory Network, is a program funded by the NSF and managed by Battelle. It is a one-of-a-kind program in ecology that provides coordinated and co-located measurements of both drivers of environmental change and biological responses. We have built and now operate 81 sites across the United States, including Hawaii, Alaska, and Puerto Rico. We partitioned this expanse into 20 ecoclimatic domains. Each site has at least one terrestrial site, one freshwater aquatic site often co-located with that terrestrial site, and one or more other sites that are spatially placed in along an environmental gradient. Co-location, as shown here on the right with Blandy Experimental Farm and Lewis Creek, enables more complete understanding of nutrients, water, and energy flow through terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. We will be collecting data for 30 or more years at all sites. Our data catalog currently boasts over 180 high quality data products that are served to the community free of charge. NEON collects data and samples using a combination of airborne remote sensing, sensors, and field sampling at varying space and time scales. The observational sampling protocols provide a wide range of small but highly diverse and complex data sets and over 100,000 archived samples a year, including genomic extracts. We are proud to be partnered with the Ecological Forecasting Initiative's Research Coordination Network and we look forward to working with all of you on the current and upcoming challenges to produce forecasts using NEON data. Our year one themes include aquatic ecosystems, terrestrial carbon and water fluxes, tick populations, plant phenology, and beetle communities. And there's a potential for new themes in coming years. Weather forecasts for each NEON site are obtained from NOAA's Global Ensemble Forecast System and provided for teams to use. We also provide efficient data access to NEON data through our API, and you can also obtain the data through our data portal. One thing to note is that COVID-19 does affect data collection systems, particularly when we require people to be in the field to collect those data. So please do refer to our website for more information. Our first theme, aquatic ecosystems. The team here is looking at one lake, Barco Lake in Florida, and one stream, Posey Creek in Virginia. They're looking at two different data products. The first is temperature at specific depth in surface water, which is shown here on the right at Barco over the last two years, and water quality. And on the right on the bottom is dissolved oxygen uh, for the last two years at the two sites. The format of the data is CSV, and NEON data for a month are generally available around the 15th of the following month. The challenge here is to provide seven day forecasts of NEON surface water temperature and or dissolved oxygen starting on the first day of the month. For the terrestrial carbon and water fluxes challenge, the team has chosen four terrestrial sites and two data products, one of which is actually a bundle of many different data products and all named under eddy covariates. On the bottom right is a graph over the last two years of soil water content uh, for the four sites that were chosen. The format of these data are HDF5 and CSV respectively. NEON data for a month are generally available around the 15th of the following month. The challenge here is to provide 30 minute or daily forecasts of net ecosystem exchange of carbon dioxide, or latent heat flux of evapotranspiration and soil moisture over 35 days using the NOAA GEFs weather forecasts as drivers. The third challenge is tick population. The team here has chosen seven terrestrial sites along uh, the eastern part of the United States. A single data product is being used to tamp the tick sampled using drag cloths, and the format of that data is in CSV. The data here are typically delivered about 30 days after collection. The challenge is to forecast total number of nymphs of two different species each week at a set of plots within the NEON sites. And there's, uh, the simulations are using 2019 data for this challenge. Plant phenology is done via our PhenoCam system. Eight terrestrial sites have been chosen by this team, um, all along the eastern part of the US. The format of the data is JPEG since they're images. 
And these images are taken every 15 minutes and they're available near real time through the PhenoCam website. Uh, so check that out. The challenge is to forecast spring green up of the common greenness index as measured by the cameras at various deciduous broadleaf neon sites. And finally, we have a team that's looking at beetle communities. They're looking at all four, 47 terrestrial sites and multiple plots per site. Uh, a single data product is used here, our ground beetle sampled from pitfall traps and the data are in CSV format. The samples are collected every two weeks and our field metadata are available about 14 days after collection, and then the sorting data are available about 60 days after collection. Just to note here that COVID-19 is particularly challenging for this protocol because field calf can't always go into the field at scheduled times. The forecasting challenge is to look at carabid absolute species richness and abundance scaled by, this, by the sampling effort uh, weekly per site for all neon terrestrial sites. So these are really exciting challenges. We're very um, excited to see what happens. And we hope you all will join us on this adventure by doing these three things. First, learn more about the challenge at ecoforecast.org. Second, explore other NEON data sets and field sites at neonscience.org. And finally, if you find that you're coding to work with the data, um, you can submit your code for promotion at the NEON website at neonscience.org slash resources slash code dash resources. And you can also find Neon Code to work with data um, and especially take a look at our package called Neon Utilities. Thank you very much and I hope you have an excellent day.